Yep, back out. Those new electric cars are not all the cracked up to be. That wasn't my joke, that's Chris's joke. Anyway, I'm out with him, look. All the Mickey taken and he still came out with this. How way? Why I? So we're heading up the road of Hell. Doom, actually, yeah, it is. This is always a hard walk, this. But when you get up the top, it's all right from there. But there's a vintage car rally on. There's loads of them down there. Um, and yeah, that's about it really for now. Nothing to say. We'll just crack on. Could easily give us a lift. Look at this thing bouncing down, looks like it's going to explode. Definitely chitty chitty bang bang. Thought it could fly, should be flying. Right, well we're up the hard bit of death. That is officially what it's called on the map. If you look on the map it says the hard bit of death. And we're at the hut of many photos. It's amazing, it's like, it's like you're looking at a black and white photograph. It's weird. All right, so how are you feeling it? All right, Ned. I've been running up, mate. Oh, yeah. Just really easy. Now, man, us athletes. I have got actually got athletes' feet. Athletes' foot. Sorry. Great cable, looking majestic. It looks huge. And we just got to get up round here. And we should come to the hut. We'll come back at the hut, the proper hut. So here we are at the famous. Um, this is the famous. Greg's hut. Hello? Anybody in? Oh, oh, digestive biscuits. Digestive biscuits. Digestive biscuits. Biscuits, 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 biscuits. Aye, right, so, looks like there's people staying here. This is a bed. Tompo made one of these beds. Either that one or that one. No. Nice fire, it's all right in here, it's nice and tidy. There's your view. That's why I always carry a pole. No, I can't do it. You're still dry. Yeah, I'm still dry. Just about saved it. Waterproof boots, man. Yeah. Spare socks. Yeah, we were walking. And we, I, I was took my eye off the ball and we ended up up there. Oh, Christ, sir. Eh? And I thought, hold on. And we had to drop all the way down back to the hut. Yeah. So we found it anyway. Whew, that was a hard. That was further than I remember that. Coming up over the rocky bits. Hard on the ankles. But we're here anyway. In Nominate Torn, where the scattered Wainwright's ashes. Don't know where. He said in his book, he says, I want to be scattered in Nominate Torn. He says, but when weary hikers need to be careful where they walk because they might just take a bit of me back in my boot <laughs> good sense of humor like it's really deep it's high as well i pitched here last time i was here and it wasn't this wet it's really really boggy but chris is just having a look over there i might have a look over there as well there's another little island sticky up bit there we'll have a wander see if we can find anywhere better than this Feeling that, this is where I'll have to pitch. The footprint on the tent is meant to be 10,000 hydrostatic head. So it should be all right. It's just uh, it's just getting in now, isn't it? You get wet. They've had a lot of rain up here. Look at this, this path, that's the path normally. So we'll just scramble over these rocky bits of death. Ooh. Oh, uh, up here. And across down here. See the wind's picking up. Ooh. 
nearly went over I mean it's a lovely place of terror Right, so he's set up. Chris is in the Scarp One. Lovely tent. Lots of room. He's got the cross poles in. Simply because he brought them. Don't think he needs them. Not that bad. Loads of room in there. He's got ten. He's got ten envy, and I've got ten envy. How's that work? pillar oh it's just the gusts are just coming right across there like that i think there's going to be waves later on the big waves just come over <laughs> so we're just all nicely set up now out the wind on that side there's chris in his little chrysalis <laughs> chrysalis just a little. Just directing me pumps, sir. Just. <laughs> There's a selection of beers. They're not all for me, by the way. Don't pretend they're not water. <laughs> nice evening if it wasn't windy. It'd be lovely. But there's a lot of cloud being uh, brought across. I'm hoping it doesn't bring rain. It might. It might not. I've even got my hat on. You know it's cold when the hat comes on. Yeah, so that's it really. Not much to say. Oof. We're back again. We've got um, chicken fajita kit. Chicken fajita kit, I love them like wraps and sour cream. Well, and I've got a bit just a beer there just to keep us going. So we're gonna get the chicken in first. I thought you cook first. The chicken and the veggies and then the sauce. Chicken's in, cook them in nicely. Nice. So if I could just direct your attention, right? to this hold on get it up first the way of the Sufi by the early purple right it's like oh, there you go it's on iTunes early purple absolutely banging tune it's like it reminds me of Lindisfarne and uh, he's a local lad go and have a look go and download that 99 pence that'll cost you to download that give him a bit of support what a lovely tune that is there's another one called Old Eagle as well that's on there as well that was his previous track a bit biased because he is my nephew the early purple that's just a nice tune he plays he plays the harmonica on it he plays the guitar lead guitar and he's the vocalist talent with lad like my nephew matthew if you're watching this matthew come on just keep at it keep at it and you'll get there all right i'm just gonna let Chicken cook through. So we've got I'm putting the, uh, the wrap on to warm it through, turn it over, and then we'll fill it with the cream on. Nice wrap. A little bit too much cream in there, but that's all right. So that's it. Mm. 
Mmm. Nice. Blown a gale outside, like. Yeah, well, we've had a good night. We've had a good night tonight. If you want to see the crack and the patter, go and watch a video of Chris MCM Outdoors. I'm sure lots of people are subscribed to him that are subscribed to me. But if you're not, go and check out MCM Outdoors for the crack. So we're in bed. Um, it's nigh on 12 o'clock, like. What a night, what a good night we've had. Uh, right laugh. Just putting the world to rights. Talking nonsense. Calling everybody. <laughs> we haven't been calling everybody. Nah, we've just been talking rubbish, just catching up, talking about old videos and experiences and all the rest of it. So yep. Yeah, we'll go to bed now and we'll see you in the morning. So we'll catch you later. Uh, really tired. Wind's dropped as well. That's good. Morning wind lovers. Uh, it's quarter to eight. Had a good sleep. Just got up once. It's Remembrance Day on the uh, Great Gable today. So we'll be heading up there. We won't be. The people will be. up, put his kettle on, I'm up, rough as badgers, as usual, even when I haven't been, had a drink or two, I'm always rough like, these days, so yeah, I'm going to fire up the, uh, the quattro, no, the jet boil, and I've got my little titanium mug. I've lost my X cup. The blue seat is my X cup. Have to find that. It's still last. That's done all right, aren't we? It still feels about half full. Yeah, that's it. And then we'll start packing and all the rest of it. The worst bit of packing away, isn't it? So it's nice and tranquil now. Good day for hiking actually. A good little breeze to keep you cool. When I was here, honestly there's not even flat grass. Chris's party tent was here. A little bit of flat grass. But that's it. I don't know how we managed to camp here like sodden. Good camp. Excellent camp. Good laugh. Apart from me being here. Good laugh. Great to meet up with you. It's yeah. been good, mate. Good memories made. Not a good laugh, didn't it? Good memories made. So that's it. We'll head back now down the path of sheer terror because it's slippy. The rocks are awful. It's quite a long walk back, actually. I'm going to time it, see how far it is. Got a helicopter. Yeah, that's what we need. This is Pillar, look at that. That's a really good place to camp, Pillar, if you can get to it. It's flat on the top. But yeah, that's it, we're gonna nick off now. Try and avoid the crowds going up the Great Gable. Great Gable. So after coming down that path of utter terror, slippy rocks and it's all angled down in the steps. Oh, it's horrible, and they're wet. Past this chasm of doom. With that view, but the mirror there, all the hills, camped on all them hills, and that one, it's Fleetworth Pike. Then, uh, just a final word, just to say, had a good camp with Chris, nice to meet you, to meet you, nice. nice. Good game, good game. This is our Bruce Forsyth. And uh, if anybody's not subbed to his channel, he probably will be, like, he's got, he's got like three times as many subs as me. Swine. Pay for it. Uh, go and have a look, MCM Outdoors, check him out, I'll put his links in, if you're not subbed, sub on, he does some good stuff. Debatable. He does some ridiculous things as well, like, like coming out with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the daftest thing he's ever done. Cheers, Waddle. But we have now got to go along the Khyber Pass, up there, 
over the back of there and you can see right in the distance the big spoil heap for the mine get to the mine there and then down the road back to the car so we'll catch you on the next one don't forget to give us a bit of hate <laughs> just a bit of reality man keep it real oh these paths <laughs>